Hi Strangelings, welcome back. I know this video is a lot closer to my second one. Um, my other ones were a little bit more spread apart. If you follow me on my regular Facebook page, you will know that I've been obsessing over looking for these brushes. I, I mean, it's been since the beginning of September, I believe. So this is makeup related again. Woo! And I'm really excited because I found them when I went to Tennessee yesterday to go hang out with my friend. Um, I almost forgot to stop and look for them because they're at Walgreens and our Walgreens does not have them. And I've asked them numerous occasions. I'm sure I've been bugging them forever now, and they hate me. But Gotham Girls makeup at Walgreens. I found it. <laughs> I'm so excited. There's three different lookbooks. There are three different kinds of brushes, which obviously I bought them all. <laughs> and they also have some hard cases to put them in. They were out of the hard cases, which sucks, because I really wanted to get those um, to put all of this in, because... It's exciting, but I don't have a place to really put my brushes right now. Um, and I can't really get a brush stand for my desk because somebody who is chilling right next to my computer today, this little dude right here, likes to steal my brushes and run away with them. Hey, dummy. Stop licking in the camera. This is what he does. But anyway, finally got them. Super excited. Have not tried them yet. But I figured I would do an initial impression on how they feel, um, show you guys what they look like. Uh, I saw them on a Facebook group that I was in, which I will share this to afterwards for you guys to check out, that someone had bought these at Walgreens. And I just freaked out, had to have them, because I don't have really nice brushes anyway. I have like a couple elf brushes, and elf brushes are really good, but I don't know anything about brushes and what you're supposed to use for what. And I also apologize that like my lighting and the angle is really weird. My computer is actually like dying. So the way I had to set it up today is a little bit different than I'm used to. It's more like a downward angle than I would like it to be. But I digress. So we have the Catwoman obviously are focusing around eye brushes. Batgirl is your contour set. And then Harley Quinn are your face brushes. Face brushes I know a lot more about. Um, contouring I am lost. <laughs> so I'm looking to learn a little bit more. Um, we're going to start with you know, the basics. So your face brushes are the Harley Quinn ones. These lovely ones right here. Alright, they come with an all-over face brush, a curved foundation brush, and an angled, angled brow. Hmm. Um, it tells you on the back, it's really nice, the kind of brushes that they have, kind of how to use them. I'm keeping these boxes for sure because I don't know these things. I mean, I know things that I've watched from videos and tutorials and things that I've taught myself, but this is about what the size of them are. The Harley Quinn ones obviously are the split color, which is super cute. They are really, really soft. They also feel very dense um, at the bottom, so I probably does hold a decent amount of product. Uh, it says that these get washed with, um, I think, lukewarm water and soap, which is not what I'm used to washing my brushes with. Um, I have like a brush spray that I use sometimes, so I don't know if I should listen and do it one way or the other. <laughs> we shall see. Um, here's your contour brush set. Ooh, pretty. And for that, we have the lovely stippling brush, angled buff, and concealer. I have never done concealer before. Shocking, I know. I've watched videos where people do um, concealer. I have not done it. I don't even own a buffer brush. I know that I need to get one. Um, these, the thing that's nice about the Harley Quinn ones is, like I said, they feel very dense, but they're still soft. These don't feel as dense for some reason. Like, they still are, but there's a lot more movement to them than the other one has. I'm not sure if that's, like, a different style because of the kind of brush it is, and I'm just not used to it, like I said. Um, here's the bigger one in comparison with the buffer brush. Um, this one feels kind of like a little cotton ball on your hand. It has really good movement. I'm really excited to try these out because I'm, I'm a newbie. <laughs> and then last but definitely not least, the one that I'm most familiar with is our Catwoman Cat Eye Set, which has an eyeshadow brush that's like your main base, uh, the creaser brush, a pointed eyeliner one that's more for like a liquid or a cream, uh, which I don't use. I use a pencil because I'm lame. <laughs> There's a bow brush and then a brow groomer, and that is kind of more for blending. Um... I thought, like, well, I can brush them, yes, but it's to blend afterwards. So I've done more with these. 
so I'm really excited about it because I can actually like I know what I'm doing. These are not dense in the least, which I wouldn't expect them to be. Um, and of course they're going to be smaller because they're working with your eyes and not your face. Um, I'm curious about this this brow groomer thing. I'm sorry, I keep looking down because I'm holding it trying to get them out. This is kind of interesting. It looks like a mascara stick, but it's for your your lovely eyebrows are over here. Um, <laughs> that is something that I've never tried doing. I've never tried filling in my eyebrows before. I've had them filled in for photo shoots and thought it looked kind of strange, but I've never actually done it myself. So that'll be um, an interesting, interesting <laughs> task to try out. I did not buy all of the lookbooks. I bought the Catwoman one because it was my favorite. Let me show you what the inside of that looks like without that mirror being in the way. There we go. It's hard to show you because of that stupid mirror, but it comes with those nine eyeshadows, a brush to put them on, um, there's some blush underneath it, a liquid eyeliner, lip gloss, primer. It's I like these colors a lot. That's why I picked out this one. The Harley Quinn one was actually a second choice for mine, not a first, which a lot of people were like, you didn't buy the Harley Quinn book because I had it there. And I liked it a lot, but I like the darker colors. I also like that they have a lot of neutrals to go along with this one. Um, the names are great. Uh, flirtatious, Jewel Thief, Whip, Cat Mask, Cat Suit, Cat and Mouse, Perfect, Friendly Foe, and Cadillac, which is great. I love that. Um, let me try to see if I can show you. This is Cat Mask. I wonder if I can... Oh, I can swatch them. Okay, I'll do that really fast while I talk to you about it. So... The, what was the other one? Batgirl. I wasn't super thrilled with the Batgirl one. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It was pretty, and it's me, so I'm going to buy them eventually, and I'll show them to you when I do. Um, I will definitely have a video where I'm creating a look, not only with using the lookbooks, but also using the brushes, so you have a better idea of how the brushes work. Um, nobody in the group that I'm in so far, I'm pretty sure, has used them, so... Or at least they, they might have picked them up or gone looking for them, but I don't know if anyone has used them or not. So it's going to be something that's kind of new um, for everybody, which will be exciting. And I'm like I said, I'm really excited to show you everyone it. I cannot word right now because I'm trying to focus on trying to get, because some of these are really light. And of course, I don't have primer on my skin or anything to make them stand out anymore. Can't really get this brown. All right. Here's at least some of them. I tried my best. Um, they're going to be more like blacks and some blues in there. And then there's that green that's really nice. The lighting on here is horrible because my light is literally right there. And it's just dumb. So I don't know if you can see these very well or not. They're darker shades. Obviously, that's why I wanted to do them because I like darker eyeshadows. Um, it's I like doing smoky eye looks better than anything else. So this is... I'm now holding the light because... I don't want it to fall and somebody kitty likes to knock it over but anyway lookbook oh that's much better lighting ah. lookbooks are 12 I'm not sure about the hard cases because I said I didn't buy any of them I'm trying to figure out how to do this with holding the light and then showing them to you guys again with this better better lighting angle Dang. I'm obviously super prepared for today I slept literally all day uh, and I've worked in like an hour Here's the Harley Quinn ones. Yeah, that lighting is a lot better to look at them. These are the ones that were very dense, um, but still very soft. I'm failing epically today. I'm just going to move all the sets over. And I pretty much took out all the back row ones because there's only three. Okay. Sorry about this. Super ready for today, I promise. Here's your contour brushes. These, again, were a little bit softer, not nearly as dense, I believe, but they're still, they're very soft. Um, I'm not really used to having super soft brushes. I'm not really used to any kinds of, like, actual real brushes. I can actually show you. Um, or not, I put it away because butt face was playing with it earlier. Um, I do have a couple elf brushes that I use, and those are what I'm used to. Um, they're soft, yes, but they're mostly because they're for powder brushes, and I don't really have anything else. I literally don't have anything for contouring. Um, I was using my fingers to do highlighter at one point in time, which my friend was like, Emily, how many videos have you watched now? And I was like, a lot. 
I've watched a lot of makeup artists do my makeup for photo shoots, and yes, I'm still using my finger to smear in uh, my highlight, but it still looks good, constant, so ha. Um, and here's the last set. I do like this lighting better to show you guys. It was the different sizes of them. So, yeah, I definitely think it's going to be worth the money. Um, I also had a coupon at Walgreens, so I think I ended up spending $40 for the three sets and the lookbook, which $40 is really not that bad. I mean, you can get a, a decent brush set for about $40, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm not looking to spend a butt ton of money, because like Sephora, you can spend like $36 for a brush or $26 for a brush. Um, this is not a career thing. If I wanted to definitely do you know, makeup professionally, I would not want to just use these brushes. I would use them more just like, Hey, look, I picked these up forever ago when I didn't know any better, and I use them for my everyday look because they're my brushes, but I don't think I'd want to use them too often on other people and, like, wear them out. Um, I'm also not going to spend another $40 to have a backup set. Um, I actually might. <laughs> but when I get the other lookbooks, I will definitely do um, what a video per book that they have. Like I said, I still have to do the um, Batgirl and Harley Quinn books, but I will try to do looks with all of them using all the products in here because I think that would be a lot of fun. I will definitely try to do a regular routine using these brushes instead of like the two that I have right now. And yes, I have like two or three brushes and that's it. So I'm, I'm learning. Um, and then maybe get a hard case to pull all of them in to show you what they look like. They kind of, they do look like each of the characters. They also said the cases, which I haven't seen yet. I've only seen like the um, clear see-through kind of makeup bag. That is what most makeup bags look like. But I'm still excited about it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you'll go to your Walgreens and check this out for sure. Um, and definitely leave in the comments below if you do pick them up, what you thought of the brushes, if you did pick them up, or what your favorite kind of brushes are. Because I definitely want to be checking out some more, seeing as right now this is like what I know. So, I hope you all have a strange and wonderful day. Um, I'm about to head off to work. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you at Walgreens. <laughs> Bye. Move this back.